God bless you wherever you are. My name is Queen Lit and I'm a gospel minister. Anytime you see me, the agenda is still the same. Together we are saving thousands of people, millions of people out of abusive marriages. So please, kindly share this video to the whole world and allow somebody's life to be blessed. And your own life will never be the same. Warm greetings to you wherever you are. Recently, I've been reading certain articles online and on social media. I've seen videos and I've read comments concerning Minister Mercy Chimwo. People are saying her marriage was too extravagant. It was too big. And they didn't expect that from her. From her looks, the way she put up herself and the way she has branded herself. People are saying, no, this is something uh, different. And they are surprised that why is it that a gospel minister could raise a marriage of about one week from proposal to bridal shower to traditional marriage, big one of course, and then to court marriage and then to white wedding, which was also very big. Now, a uh, Bible says every good thing and perfect gift come from above from the father of light. Okay, if you are a gospel minister, it doesn't mean you should do your things haphazardly. It doesn't mean you should do your things anyhow. You should dress and go to places anyhow. You can't do what people are, uh, you can't do what other people are doing. But you have to remember, we are not ordinary. We are kings in the Lord. And as kings and queens in the Lord, we have ways of doing our things. And that is why the worldly people will question you and ask you if you are doing things contrary to what you say you are. I'm, I've not completed anything. I'm just making a statement. Keep following and keep listening. There is another marriage which is very interesting. Wudimaya. Wudimaya is a village boy from Ghana, from Western region. Okay? And this guy has told a lot of stories concerning his family, his poor background. He calls himself a village guy. He said at a point in time, he wanted to go to school uh, in the UK, but he was refused a visa. And what I, per what I read, out of shame, he went to China to study. And even before he could go to China, he borrowed money from his friends to go and study aeronautical engineer. He studied it, he got his, his degree, and he dropped it to become a YouTuber because he was discriminated whilst he was in China. He said sometimes he gets a job and he'll go and they'll say, we are looking for a black guy like Obama and not a black guy like you. He said he was once in a train and people were getting up and there was a lot of uh, seats in the train but nobody wanted to sit down. He was alone there because of his color. So his aim is to change the narrative about, about what, uh, what people think, the Western world think about Africa. And he's holding that in high esteem. Let me shock you. His wedding was just a thousand dollars. The whole wedding that that guy had costed thousand dollars. So people are asking that why is it that this guy is not a gospel minister? He says he's a Christian, but people are even saying yes, he's a Christian. But the way Minister Mesichingo portrays herself and the way she looks like, the way she's having this her heart without makeup and nothing, and she was able to do this kind of wedding to show up. What is she trying to say? This is what people are saying. A very controversial, uh, how do you call it, debate on the social media. I don't know whether you've come across it. I'll speak about what I think about it. And I'll tell you the mind of God right now. What the Spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell my followers. So that they'll move with it in their life. And they'll be able to see great things in their lives. Listen, anything you do as a gospel minister... As a believer, as a Christian, the purpose of God must be maintained. The moment you take the purpose of God out of whatever you do, those in the world, they will question you and they will ask you, where is your God? They will ask you, that are you not the one who stand here and portray that you are a child of God? Why are you imitating things of the world? Why have you brought the world to you? Because you say these are, are things of the world. Don't forget, the Bible says every good thing, every good and perfect gift thing comes from above, from the Father of light. So if you're a gospel minister and you're a Christian, it doesn't mean you should do your things haphazardly. It doesn't mean you should just do your things anyhow. Beautiful things are good to do. But the whole thing is maintain the purpose of God in whatever you do. Now let me tell you a little bit about Minister Messi Chiwo so that you know where she's coming from and you will not 
misinterpret what she did. Let me tell you. In the year 2012, she won Nigerian Idol. She was in the church, Apostolic Church, and then she left to this contest. Don't forget, in the contest, she sang songs like from the legendary uh, Felakuti, the late uh, Whitney Houston. She dressed like those people. She danced like those people. She, she mimicked them, okay? Everything about them, she was doing. And after this contest, she entered into acting. So this lady understands showbiz. She's having that thing in her. Don't forget. So most of the things she did, if you compare to Rita Dominic, you see some kind of similarities. Because uh, uh, Rita Dominic is an actress and she, what she did, her marriage was a showbiz marriage. And this is their lifestyle. Celebrities. Okay? So me, I don't even normally call uh, gospel ministers who are up there celebrities. No, we are ministers of God. We are ministers of God. So if you don't take care, you mix it up. And this is what some of us are losing. The moment we come that far, we have to take what we have, our purpose. The purpose is you have to win a soul for Christ. And you must allow the name of God to be glorified. The moment you take these things out of whatever you do, you have deviated. And that is why people who don't even know God, they'll stand there and question you. And they'll speak ill about things that you have done. So comparing these two marriages, people are asking, why is it that with the Maya, who is not so much... Uh, uh, he's, he's a Christian but not so much deep into it has been able to do this kind of marriage with thousand dollars and Minister Mercy Chiwo who has branded herself what she has done is rebranding she's wearing her hat and she doesn't wear makeups but that kind of celebrity style and showbiz is in her because she came from that place don't misunderstand me Go and watch her video and watch her interview. She was just 20 years. In the year 2012, she won that contest, Nigerian Idol. And she went into acting. She sang songs of people who, who were not Christians, who were not believers. She mimicked them. She danced their dance. She wore their dresses, their hairstyle and everything. She did those things. So she knows what, what showbiz is. So if she got married and it was extravagant, that is where those things are coming from. But what we don't have to forget is we have purpose as children of God. We are kings and queens. So you behave as such. You do those things as kings and queens in the Lord. And we do what the Lord expects of us. Simplicity and modesty in whatever we do. That is why David said in the Bible that bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything that is within me, bless his holy name. So if you are a believer and you are able to win two souls every day, in the next 33 years, you will cover the whole world population. You will cover the whole world population. So we have assignments, we have purposes, and that is why we don't need to forget it in whatever situation we find ourselves. You don't need to forget those assignments. Don't forget that you are a child of God. So if you overdo things, people will come and criticize you and talk about it. But if you, if you see it, don't get offended. Go back and then be on your feet again. Because sometimes they remind you of what you didn't do. Do you remember the Pharisees in the Bible? They were always, because they knew the Lord, they were always disturbing. And that is what, that is, that in the same way the people of the world, that is what, how they are. And even believers, they will keep on questioning the, the, themselves because they know you that you are a simple person. You don't wear makeup. You don't wear this kind of long heel or high heels. And you are so simple in your doings. So what caused you to do to, to get married that way? Listen, Wodimaya is not a poor person. He is having over 1 million subscribers on YouTube. And that guy is a rich guy now. Because even when he got married... He had two bedroom apartments as a gift and his wife had one bedroom apartment as a gift and he is into real estate. He flew his brad his two brothers, his uncle and his friend to Kenya for the wedding. He dressed behind a car and the church into which they went, even some of the windows were not there. And he spent $1000 for his wedding 
Uh, this guy has made it big time. He is not a small boy. He has interviewed most of the prominent people in Africa. And he has visited about 17 African countries and he is still counting. Because he says he wants to project Africa to the world and change the narrative of the, of, of, of the Western world, what they have concerning Africa. And that is what he is portraying and that is what he is doing. In the same way, believers, Christians, we don't need to forget our purpose in life. It's to win souls and to glorify God. So whatever we do, let God, let people see those traces in it. We should not leave it behind and then go and take certain things, come back and then uh, uh, drop those things. Do you understand? People talk about it. So I believe uh, for that reason, people are just uh, saying, yeah, Minister Mesichin, what, what, what is it? Her marriage is too big and so on and so forth. She's coming from this kind of showbiz background. She understands what it is. But in all, we don't have to forget the purpose of God in whatever we are doing. If you do that, as a believer, let me tell you what can happen. Whatever you are doing as a believer, if you don't take care, okay, you will lose followers. Okay, the confidence people are having in you will go away. And don't forget, God causes people to bless you. What you are having is a blessing which God has caused people to bless you. Some people go on their own way, hustle in all kinds of ways and look for money. All kinds of illegal ways. But if you are a minister of God, that is how yours come. So you don't have to let people down. And moreover, that marriage, you don't know what you are going to face in that marriage. It takes the hand of God and the protection of God. And that is why we have to secure our things with prayer, simplicity and modesty. That is what the Bible teaches us. Okay? So, it is not wrong to do beautiful wedding. It is not wrong to do extravagant things. But in all things that we are doing, we don't need to forget the purpose of God. And that is so winning and to glorify God. And simplicity and modesty is the lifestyle and the banner of every believer. What do you think about this? I leave it to you. Tell me your mind concerning what people are saying about these two marriages. God bless you. Fire, I shut up, mother. I 